What's happening YouTube model building community? Chris Chapman here. I uh, decided I'm going to do a quick video. Hopefully it's a quick video. It's a rant video. I uh, just got done watching Chris over at Classic Plastic 101 do a video on an update that he's doing on a ghost build. And he put a rant in there that kind of got to me. If you guys haven't seen it yet, you will. If you haven't, then you obviously haven't subscribed to him. Classic Plastic 101. Go check out his channel. He's one of the people that have taught me how to use acrylic paints. Amazing. Now, while he was doing his update, he was talking about something that I've heard quite a bit about new builders getting into the hobby that are just starting out and afraid to put up videos in this community because they feel their builds aren't good enough. They're not putting out the quality of builds that other people are putting out. There's a standard or a high grade quality that you have to have now I've had comments on my videos about gosh I wish I could do that so that I could put some videos up this thing here on YouTube is to turn around and show off what we can do and the really cool thing is when you get done showing us a build saying hey this is it yeah, it might not look the best. It's your, what, second build. But for a second build, it looks great. Now, the key is on your third build to make it look better than your second build. That's what we're here for. We give advice. We give tips. If you go here on my channel, you go over to my playlist, I have a whole bunch of videos that I just did because people are saying, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. I've done it. I put videos out there to show you what has worked for me. It's done my way, and I have found out what doesn't work for me. I have found out what is nice and what isn't. <laughs> just I waste a lot of time stripping and sanding and repainting. Just to strip and sand and repaint to strip and sand and repaint. And blah, 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 blah. I don't care who these people are the I call them rivet counters and if I lose some subscribers and stuff that's fine I've had people do it to me over on Facebook I'll post some of them and it's like oh that's not an actual color of the car I didn't make that car to be an actual replica of a showroom floor car and that's what's giving these kids and these younger people and the young adults older adults and new retirees that finally don't have to work anymore and they can enjoy themselves and have fun they pick up a kit, they do something to have somebody say, oh, that's not the right color of paint. People, we need to stop putting that out to where people feel that they can't participate with us as builders. You know, Chris Cortell announced that he's 56 years old. He's been building model cars since he was 10. 46 years of experience. And he built some great cars sci-fi stuff, Godzillas and figurines and all kinds of stuff. Planet of the Apes figures, great, great stuff. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'll watch his videos because that's where I learn his painting techniques. You know, a figure to me d doesn't attract me at all. I have no interest in it at all. 
If I was to do one, that might change my mind. But as of now, I don't have any interest. But the techniques that he uses on painting them can be converted over to any kind of modeling, of which is where I've learned to do what I do. I'm not the best. There's so many guys out there that just make my work look like garbage. But I'm proud of what I've done because it's mine. These rivet counters have got to stop telling people that it's not up to par and stuff. They need to turn around and tell them, hey, that looks really good, but did you know if you take a little bit of this and put there, you know, how come you didn't turn around and paint your blinkers on the side of your fenders? Because all you need is some future with a little bit of orange paint tinted into it and then just put a dab in it really lightly until it builds up so that way you've got them. Because a lot of people forget that or they get intimidated. They oh, that's such a small area, I just won't do it. You know, you got to build up. you got to work your way from the beginning up. Chris Cortell has been building models for a year more than I've been alive. Yeah, that's right. He's old. But I'm not going to say anything because hopefully I'm that old one day. <laughs> and at that point, hopefully I could put out some of the caliber of builds that he does. You know, I've been doing this a long time. I've made mistakes. Here's one. Chevy Cheeseburger 48-hour build. A lot of you people have seen my Jeep. You know, I built this and it was just clean and shiny and smooth, just beautiful, beautiful finish on it. Just like a showroom, brand new off the showroom floor build. To me, it was beautiful. One of the best jobs that I've done to date. But if you look at the treads on the tires, I done screwed up. I have... That top right tire is going in a backwards motion. Three of my tires are, or two of my tires are rotating the wrong way. I didn't notice that until I went and I put this into a model contest for Hobby Lobby. Ended up taking first place for this in the truck category, or second place, I'm sorry, in the track category, truck category, I took second place. There's a guy there that looked at that and said, hey, are you aware that your tires are done wrong? And I said, well, I blame that on Big O because they're the ones that put them on. <laughs> he laughed and it turned out he worked for a Les Schwab tire dealer that was up the road from where the contest was going on. He just came down for his lunch break. <laughs> I haven't been doing this for very long, about two years. I felt really good about this and I made a mistake. I don't care. Still looks cool. <laughs> You new kids out there, new people in the hobby, you new retirees that are just getting into it, picking it up. The best thing that you could do is turn around, do a video, show us your mistakes, and say, how do I fix this? And there's a hundred people on here that could give you some great suggestions on how to do it better, how to fix it, how to change it. You guys want to get up to where you're doing the caliber of builds like we're doing, then... I put mine up and I had a lot of people tell me, hey, you know, that kind of do it this way, do it that way. And it's helped me immensely on being able to improve my skills and my abilities. You know, Chevy Cheeseburger's got these 48-hour builds. You know what? how much fun it is to go in there and the 48 hours throw a kit together? It's not going to be perfect, but it's the fun of it. And then when you get done, you put it up on the shelf and says, for 48 hours, that doesn't look half bad. We need to help these people move on, and that's why we do these videos, to show them what we're doing, in hopes that they can say, I want mine to look like that one day. I'm going to send him a message and say, how did you do that? I started doing a lot of acrylic paints. I do all my builds in acrylics, from the wheels all the way through the chassis, engines, motors, suspension, exhaust, interior, finish, everything, 100%, all acrylic paints and they're the craft crap you know apple barrel garbage full cart garb i mean you know dollar 39 here 59 cents there this here is still got that much paint in it and that's what i painted this with I can still do another seven or eight models out of that one bottle, and I've gone over this many, 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 many times. Hello there. I'm back. <laughs> I just pulled the uh, cord 
turn my mic off and you guys just took a dive. I hope you guys didn't get a sneak peek of my uh, build here for my calendar for Dr. Cranky because that's supposed to be a secret. But if you did, pretend you didn't see it. So, you learn how to do stuff by posting your videos of your builds and I'm encouraging everybody that watches my videos, that watches Chris Cortell's videos, that watches Dr. Cranky's videos, that watches Chevy Cheeseburger's videos, make videos and post what you're doing so that we can see. And let us see you improve and get better with each and every build. That's what makes it nice and fun and exciting for us. So when we turn around and we get to a certain point, we can look at and say, I remember when you did your first video and, you know, you're a hundred times better on that. I'm still waiting for somebody to turn around and say, my gosh, I can't believe how much better you are from your first build. So, I'm hoping it's just nobody saw that first video. <laughs> saw the videos of my first build. You know, and then you progress, you work your way up from just, yeah, I have all of them in being locked up, but this one here, perfect example. I saw Dr. Cranky doing all this stuff, and I'm like, ooh, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that. So I went, got me a kit, and you guys have seen this car before. And I went and I got this paint job with the flames on it, candy apple red over a gold base. And I put it in storage and it got buggered up, it cracked. So now I'm turning around and I'm making it into a junker. Most of you guys have seen this. That's what I'm talking about. That there really isn't that great of a paint job. It's one of my first beginner ones. Trying this and trying that before I knew what I was doing. And now I'm taking what I know now and I'm going to make something cool out of it. And, you know, I mean, that probably would have looked alright. But for what I've learned from everybody on this community, from the Facebook groups, from the forums, I could do a hundred times better than what that originally would have turned out to be. And now, doing what I'm doing is going to make it a hundred times better than what I started out for it to be. You know? You want to go from this kind of crap to where you can take it and change it and make it even better and move and work your way up to say this one. I guess kind of a quick update on my Chevy Cheeseburger build. My 53 Chevy Bel Air. That right there is a gloss black acrylic paint as my base and then I took future and I mixed pearl powders into it I got the green on top and the uh, I think it's super copper or antique copper I don't remember for the bottom I haven't clear coated this this was just sprayed on yesterday and it just been sitting overnight drying so I still got to clear coat that but I'm turns out really really good I still got to take off my tape here and around my windows and do all my chrome trim and stuff but you know it's coming along it's looking nice I guarantee I would not have done this a long time ago you know a year and a half ago I wouldn't have known what pearl powders were didn't even know what future was I was able to get to where I could do this kind of stuff from posting my videos and having people say hey that looks great I've asked questions. Cranky probably turned around and sat there and thought, what did I get myself into with this dumb kid? <laughs> Not a kid, but here I am. I was sending emails. I was asking. He put out a video showing exactly how he did something. And somehow I'd find a question and say, well, what about this? Why that? God bless his heart. He turned around and answered every single one of them with an answer that has helped me. And that's what all you rivet counters and people that have to turn around and put every build down because it's not up to your standard or your quality. You are the kind of people that can leave. 
we're here to progress and to help people and enjoy this community and bring people in and make friendships and camaraderie and stuff. If you don't like my videos, I don't care. Don't watch them. I've talked to a ton of people, a lot of people, that have turned around, asked me questions on my videos on using acrylic paints, and then just BAM! Out of the blue, there they are doing a video saying, Hey, I just shot my first acrylic paint, and I love it. Nielsen Manderas did it. Uh, a couple other people. And, you know, Gary over at Model... Uh, no, I can't think of his site now. MC Model Works. He, uh... Same thing. Shows how to do it. This is a different... If this clear as opposed to that clear. Shows the difference. It helped me. These are the people that I'm hoping that my subscribers here will look at my subscribers list right here on the, you know, if you're looking at it, it's on the left side of the screen. Go down, and if you're not subscribed to these people, subscribe to them. Listen to them and watch them. My weathering techniques here, I learned stuff. I, oh, I wish I could show you this cranky build, but I can't. But I learned stuff from watching people building tanks. Kind of getting into maybe wanting to try some military stuff. I've got a couple airplanes here and I've actually started working on one of them and just got a couple of deadlines I got to do and stuff. So that's kind of while something's painting. But I'd like to get into doing some tanks and stuff. And when I get work going and stuff, I can afford to buy some. I'm going to try it. But I'm learning weathering techniques from the guys that are doing the tanks that are driving around in the mud all the time. So please watch these videos. When you do something, videotape it. And then if you have a question, post your video and say, Hey, I'm working on this and it's not coming out right. What am I doing wrong? Let hundreds of us turn around and help you figure out that problem. Somebody says it's not good enough. Who cares what they think? Please, put your videos up. Chris, stop invoking me. <laughs> You've done great work, great work, great work. But when... You know, I've been wanting to say something, I just haven't. I talk to people, and I require, or kind of request that they do it, you know, through PMing and stuff. But Chris put up a video, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to chime in on this. I've got to chime in on this. I wouldn't be where I am in my modeling if it wasn't for people like Chris Cortell and many others. You know, Dave Parker, he was around and stuff. He hasn't been on much. He's basically bettering himself right now, and he's doing a great job. Dave Parker, if you're watching this, congratulations on your one-year man. Kudos. Keep it going. And He's getting in a video here and there, but, man, great guy. Funny, hilarious. Doesn't really teach you much, except for the one lesson that I did learn from him. You don't take a drill. You don't put a piece of sprue with a little angle, stick it in a bottle of paint without holding it. Because when you hit that trigger, it goes everywhere. <laughs> and the cool thing about it is he's smart enough and cool enough and laughing about at himself enough to where he can post that and say, Hey, look, I just screwed up. Hey, look, a squirrel. <laughs> That's what it's about. Put your mistakes up here and ask how to fix them. Turn around if you're proud of something. Put it on there. Show us. Louis Sanchez, he did a video. Got this Camaro. He keeps painting it. And the orange keeps coming through and bleeding through and bleeding through his color. And the, it's molded in yellow orange. You know, and it, everybody told him, go get a can of sealer. He learned how to fix that problem by going and saying, hey, how do I take care of this? By putting a video up. He does some great work, but there's always something you can learn. Everybody has something they can learn. So we're going on 20 minutes of a rant here. So you new people that have all subscribed to me that only have two or three subscribers with zero videos, start putting up some videos and let's start watching your subscriber skyrocket. Start showing us what you're doing and stuff. You know, you guys came here to learn. Let us help you learn. And at the same time, one of your mistakes could be a teaching lesson for us. So please, please, let's do it all. Everybody stop counting the rivets. Stop pointing out the flaws. You know, constructive criticism and, hey, you did that wrong, are two totally different things. A nice, kind gesture to suggest something is a lot better than, what are you thinking? 
or why did you do that? So think about how you're wording stuff, people, and let's kind of help these new people in the community. Even you older people, you know, I've got a lot of people say, I've been building models for 30 years, never thought of using acrylic paints, and that's all I use now because of you. Kind of makes you feel good. But at the same time, there's purposes for the other kinds of paints. House of Colors, I'm going to have to try some of that stuff because I want to try doing some other things. And I don't know how well the acrylics are going to work on it. So, But that's enough of this. i got coffee to drink and cars to polish and clear coat. So we will talk at you later. Thanks for listening. And I hope I haven't lost too many of you. And for those that I did lose, sayonara.